Finally tonight, we travel to a far-off land where no TV cameras have ever ventured before. The Palmyra Atoll, once ravaged during World War II, is now a bustling playground for wildlife. Harry Smith takes us to Paradise Lost and Found Again as part of the new NBC News series, On Assignment. The Palmyra Atoll, a thousand miles south of Hawaii, is a spectacular marine wilderness, so remote, fewer than 100 people have been here in the last 15 years. It's about as close to paradise as still exists on the planet. This is a place that is teeming with life. It's on land, in the sea, in the air. You want to show me around a little bit? With Nature Conservancy zoologist Eric Conklin as our guide, we checked out the reefs. Very cool out here. Over 170 different species of coral on Palmyra. Most of the coral was in great shape, but there were spots of concern. This pale coral here is horribly bleached. Reefs bleach when water temperature gets warmer than normal, killing the coral. If global temperatures continue to rise, it will make it difficult for reefs to rebound. I think of what's happening with coral reefs is really an SOS signal for the planet. An SOS signal? SOS signal. I mean, think about it. To me, that's a, a coral screaming that we have to do something. For as the reefs go, so go the oceans. Oceans that feed us. Oceans that help us breathe. Because Palmyra is protected by a 50-mile no-fishing zone, it is free from many environmental stresses. The reefs here have held up well against El Nino's warm temperatures. Crabs the size of garbage can lids, birds galore, and a healthy reef teeming with fish. Amazing what can happen when, with a little help, left to its own devices, nature can heal itself. Harry Smith, NBC News. The Palmyra at hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.